my good morning. Uh, hold on. Got to readjust. Uh, turn around on my cheer. How are you? How are you, boys and girls? Um, huh. Oh, hello. <laughs> I haven't been up that long. I don't know what time it is because I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. It's not one o'clock. We must not have set that clock back. Uh, Aren't we in fallback mode? It's got to be noon. Anyways, I get up at 11, which is a good time because I went to sleep at 3. So I got a full 8. I got a full fat 8. So this came. <laughs> I'm so fucking annoyed. This. Those of you, probably most of you, have this sunshine polishing cloth. I have one too. I got one a couple years ago. No, a year ago. And it's here somewhere. It's twice this size at least. So I bought this one, spent $8 on it, and this is what I got. <laughs> Fuck my life. Would have never bought it. Not, not going to buy one this tiny. This is ridiculous. I mean, I'll use it, but hopefully I'll find my other one, my original one. It's huge. Because it just doesn't make sense to buy a small one. It's just like, you know, if you're going to buy a quart of milk, buy a gallon. If it's cheaper, if you're going to drink it. It's that sort of thing. All right, I'm here to show you uh, what I have for sale. This is what I have for sale. Oh, sterling. There's some, st well, there's mostly, st I don't know. You'll just see. First of all, let me start with this bead bag. It's not really a bead bag. It's the pearl bag. Remember, there's like potato pearls, those black pearls. There's some Swarovski pearls. And you see, there's potato. They say on there what they are. Mother of Pearl, Pearl, <laughs> kind of thing. So is, is that redundant? Mother of Pearl, Pearl. Mother of Pearl, Pearl. Anyways, that's for sale. Just if you want to make me an offer in my bag. 05 at yahoo.com. And it's best like the stuff. Oh, doggy. The stuff that I sold yesterday. If some A lot of it sold real, real fast, quick and in a hurry. But it's best that you email me as opposed to just comment, because I'll get my email and I'll say, oh, she wants that. So-and-so wants this. Where's the comments? I may not see them, and so on. Oh, God, it's going to be hard for me to part with that one. Okay. Okay, so Sterling. I'm hearing dead people. I love dead people. That's lovely. I've seen it pretty recently. I'm asking 20 all this is plus four dollars shipping. If you get more than one thing, then um, hold on, this little heart's kind of bent. Still asking twenty. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just make sure it's not fucked up, bent. No. Um. God. Oh, I can ship kind of several pieces for four dollars. You know. And when you pay me, some of you paid me friends and family, and some of you didn't. Well, most of you paid as goods and services. And I'm fine with that because it's convoluted and it's not on me. But what happens is, what happened is if you pay, oh, I'm sorry, Slow moving, just want to get this started because my last video that I'll upload today, my bedroom video, kind of long an hour. I uploaded it, started uploading it yesterday at 5 p.m. It uploaded today at about an hour ago. It finished, so that's what I'm working with. So I want to get this done so I could get it uploaded. So it might upload by tonight, maybe. Oh shit, what was I just gonna say? Friends and family? Convoluted, is that where we were at? Friend, uh, then, Okay, I print, I print my labels from home, eBay whatsoever, whatsoever what, etc. And that's what I do. Some people, well, I think most people print from home. Anyways, what happens on PayPal, if you, I love this ring, I've had it forever, should have you too. Um, if, you, if you pay me or any other seller, most sellers would rather have the, okay, PayPal takes 3%. So if you pay a seller, say you pay a seller, you know, $10 as goods and services, 3% is going to be taken out of that. Um, and that's a bummer. But it's 3%. So 
I don't really give a shit about that through a little 3%. It's nickel dimey. Um, but you can't print a label. God, get to the point. I can't print a label. It, PayPal doesn't allow you to print a label, so you have to do this whole hacky work around. Go into paypal.com, ship now, you know, and fill out everything and do it that way, which is just, it's a pain in the ass. I would rather, my time is money, so I would rather just be able to, when you pay as goods and services, I go right into my PayPal. I, oh my God. I go right into my PayPal account and I hit ship, ship this, ship this thing, and that's it. So, am I making it clear? Like, it's better for me that you pay as goods and services. You know, if it's fifty or a hundred dollars, then yeah, three percent can add up. But anyway, so yeah. Better to pay as goods and services unless I've asked you to do otherwise. And by the way, you're covered. I know a lot of people might think I've been doing PayPal for since PayPal's been PayPal since the nineties. Um, late nineties. People think, oh, if I pay as friends and family, you know, and I don't get it or blah, 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 then I'm not covered. No, you are covered because you know why you're covered. <laughs> I found this out years ago because as a seller, we're not supposed to be selling goods as fucking friends and family. We're not. That's just, we're not. So if you were to buy something from somebody as friends and family and they didn't send it, you call PayPal and you go, well, they... I paid for these goods and they'll be like, boom, they'll, they'll, they'll hit that seller's account and say, they're not allowed to do that. Here's your money. So you're covered either way. There's a misnomer about that, a misconception that your money is just going to hell if you pay that way. Okay. I'm sitting here <clears throat> deciding what to show you. I'll start with these. I'll try to, I'm, I'm not super organized. Am I ever? How about we do earrings? Ink. I'm gonna get these out. So I'm gonna, eh, eh. And the prices are going to vary. Very, very, very. This is taking forever. I'm so sorry. You think I would have done this before? I pushed play, pushed the cord. Do it. Barely awake. Okay. These are 20. They're fantastic. I think they're 14 grams combined. They do not have backs. They are sterling and they are Mexico. And they're just, they're, they've got good weight. They're just nice. They're cool. They're really cool. Right there. Little dangly Mexico balls. Earrings. Uh, these little babies, are they? No, let's get them together. These. No, sorry. God dang it, Jenna, get your shit together. I am not QVC. Have I said that before? <laughs> I'm just too sloppy. I mean, there's seriously some YouTubers like Nola. She could work on QVC. Just get your job there, Nola. I'll be behind you. You're a presenter. Oh my God, my cat scared the popo out of me. Okay, here, Onyx. These do have backs however i'm pretty sure they're not sterling backs because i don't think sterling has plastic and i don't think sterling ever comes in a nut style like that i think it's always that old-fashioned one like i had when i was growing up is this a 925 mexico onyx jet you choose well doggy well good weight but you know they're not gonna drag your ear down the f to the floor so those are 12 dollars and these are twelve dollars. Hold on, these are lovely. I, I just love Mother of Pearl. I had a lot of Mother of Pearl Native American rings when I was a kid, and I just have a love for it. This is pretty. Same thing with the backs. There are backs, but they're not. I'm guessing not original. I'm fucking positive they're not original. But anyway, so those. Well, it's a 12. Let's get more expensive. And then we'll go, maybe go back down again. These are 30. And these are a whole different animal. They're fantastic. They are, you know, you know, I love a thing like this. Um, 
Sorry, I didn't close up on the other ones. That wasn't on purpose. But I need to show you the marker makers. No, there is a, a maker's mark that I can't make out. But there is also, it's also stamped 18K and 925 somewhere. Can you see it? And then there's like a little, some weird swirly lines that could be the maker. So this is the 18 karat gold. They're just cool. They've got some weight, but you know, again, I don't think they're going to tear your ears off. Tear your ears off. I'm not going to tear your ears off. Okay. These, these are 30. You don't have to, you don't have to get them, but I cannot any less because these are from the 1940s and probably most likely yes. And you've seen these recently. And I polished them a little bit. I just didn't want to take all that beautiful patina off. If you want to, as the new owner, you have at it. They're sterling, not 925. Oh, what's that say down there? What's that say? I don't know what that says besides sterling. It says something else. What does this say? They're old. These are not. Um, these are not made within even the last 50 years. Can you shoot balls? Five, 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 six, two. I don't know. Some maybe it was their like thing or something. Anyways, they're fantastic. They're glorious. They go this way. Okay. I should be putting those back into place. And we'll go back to cheapy for a minute. These are ten sterling, lightweight. Cool. Just simple hoops with some embellishment and that's not what that's called i'll also do 10 on these they've got some weight to them they're not super you know they're not like those last ones are real lightweight these aren't real lightweight and they're, they are marked somewhere let me see if, it's easier for me to see first like i mean these all have been tested so if they're not marked then they're not marked and i don't see i can't see anything here can't see where there would be a marking and I don't see unless it's on the stem I, yeah. anyways 10 and these 15 they need repair they don't really need repair they need wires they're fantastic I believe malachite again old again I didn't polish them let's see I'm gonna use my little uh, handy dandy to rub off the I'll just rub the whole back. I want to see if it just says Mexico or what on the back. The fuck? <laughs> what are they? Uh, what does it say? I mean, they're sterling, but... Oh, yeah, they're a name. Santia. Somebody told me the name. Yeah, they're a name. But there's your other marks yeah they definitely need to be clean but I'm not dipping them I'm not going to spend the 30 minutes it would take to actually clean all this patina and this is an example of something that I personally wouldn't want shiny I like things that are like damn I've been around for 40 years this is what I look like this is my this is my battle scars do you know what I mean if I want bright shiny, I'll go. I'll go buy these that have been around for a year or five years, whatever. That's just my personal taste. So I'm kind of a patina lever on her. And these are super sweet little turquoise. Um, I can't honestly tell you if they're reconstituted. If what? That's not the word for it. It's not the word for turquoise. That's the word for amber. Most all turquoise. In the last at least 10 years maybe longer is treated that's the word for it uh, okay sorry i was reading an email damn it gina um treated which makes it no less valuable it's just a thing turquoise is like chalk right so it's super duper did i say 10 Oh, no, I said 10. A super duper, um, it's like chalk. Just think of chalk. Could you think of chalk? 
and then you all know what turquoise is and I kind of have to paste it together and whatnot so yeah super soft this is 30 yeah I said it because it's fantastic speaking of turquoise not Native American love the veining love it back there love the I love gold and turquoise sterling silver I'm not too close up now. Just a dainty sterling silver chain that it's on. It's just really pretty. Find the Chico's necklace. <laughs> just got a reminder to find the Chico's necklace. Oh, the saga. I messaged the buyer last night and I said, girl. I didn't say girl. I didn't know I'd contacted her before or we'd had contact on eBay. I said, man, I've been looking, looking, looking. I cannot find it. I'm so, so sorry. Do you want me to cancel it tomorrow if I can't find it? And if I do, I'll let you, you know, in the future. And she said, well, you know, I'm I, I'm the one that I had you measure it. I messaged you a few weeks ago and had you measure it. Does that help? And I'm like, oh, no, no wonder it's not hanging where it's supposed to be hanging. Because this bitch got up probably... It was either in the middle of a busy day or late at night. And I came in the light box, took pictures, measured it for her, and God knows where it went. This is sweet and lovely. And this one is 25 because it's sweet and it's lovely. And it's uh, tarnished. Do you give a shit if you do? Untarnish it. I don't know why. I like to see the age on things. It makes me happy. Um, it's just... It's nice. And this is, oh shit, this is a sterling chain. So yeah, I mean, it was like, oh, and then it was like, oh, for a minute I was like, oh, yo. and then I was like, oh, fuck, that's, uh-uh, nope, that's no bueno, because who knows, it, I could have just probably plopped it in a bucket while I was over here. Um, 15, I don't know what the stone is. So I don't believe it's not coral. I don't believe it to be coral. It's sterling. It's a chain. Sweet. See the little black spots in it? I don't you might know what that stone is. I don't know if it's carnelian. Does carnelian have black in it? Like that? It just doesn't have the right red for coral, in my opinion. But, you know, opinions are like assholes. We've all got them, right? Am I right? Okay, and 20 for this. It's sterling. I believe it to be a stone. No, that's just, that's, that's, I don't know. Wood? Oh, I know. It's ebony wood. It's a thing. It's a thing. I believe that's what's called ebony wood because I had one similar to this, Lisa, remember? I sold to you. You love it. You thought so pretty. Yeah, it's, I might be leaving something out. Ebony wood. Ebony? Well, yeah, ebony black, but ebony, it's a, like a thing. That's a whole thing. And it's about a size seven. Oh, my baby's getting his little bit of sunshine. Go ahead, a good boy. Oh, oh, oh. Um, do you want I should put it on? I can, you know. I'm full service like that. You know what I mean? So, it would fit you at a seven. And I think a seven and a half, not an eight. It's hard for me with these kind because you can't lay them out long and measure them because that's not a thing you can do. Okay, let me put this shit over here. Over here. Oh, Monche, I hear you like a little baby angel. I just like a little baby angel. Yeah, he's a little baby angel when he's not up my donkey, but he did wake me at nine again. It's this new thing. Nine o'clock. Oh, time to get up, Mom. Hungry. Feed me. Fuck. That's a fuck. Because nine is too early. Unless for some wacky reason I managed to get to sleep by like at least 2 a.m., not 3 a.m. Okay, we're changing gears. There's a couple things only. Oh, we'll do vintage. Vintage? <laughs> we'll do vintage and modern. This is fantastically cool, and I didn't test it. I don't know that the the hardware, the software, the findings are sterling or not. I don't know if anybody cares, but I don't know for sure. So I'm not selling it as that. 
It's just this fantastic carved coral onyx bead necklace. It's sweet. Um, and it's a little A-frame. A-typical. A-situational. And I can't think of the name. Asymmetrical. <laughs> Say enough words for long enough, it's going to come right it's going to come right to me. So yeah, that's just sweet and pretty. Did I say a price? 15. It's really fantastic. I do say so myself. I didn't make it. And this, you guys, I don't care. It's $20. And I love it to fucking death. <laughs> You've seen it before. I didn't close the safety clause because you would really never need to. But I mean, you would do it because it's there. But come on. Look at her. What is even happening right now? Do you not love her? Oh, she's heavy. She's a whole thing. Love her so much. Damn it, man. And I just can't keep every freaking thing I love. Can't do it. Close this tight like that. Let me do that. It's just, it's fantastic. And I think, you know, like, I want to keep it, but I, I, I have to, I have to cut myself off at some point. I just do. So, yeah. And I think in the pictures it would do okay, but you wouldn't, well, you can't tell how the, the quality of it and the feel from videos, but just eBay pictures, it's like, well, I don't know. I don't know. It just, it just, it, the feel of it is fantastic. Oh, we got a Betsy Johnson watch. She's fantastic. She's 20 because you need to buy a battery. What are you what are you playing with? What are you fighting with? Sorry. <laughs> She's fantastic. Little bulldog or bulldog terrier or whatever the hell it is. That's the condition. Vintage Betsy watch. Love her. She's cute. I love that little doggy. Oh my cat's gone. <laughs> what do you got? Okay, please tell me it's like a lizard. Please, God. Yeah, that's the thing here. The lizards. There. Uh, I forgot to put the sterling ring in here. This is 10. Oopsie. Forgot to put her in on the sterling side. Oh. It's a size 6. Pear shape. Pear shape is just not my shape. Otherwise, I'd probably keep it because I don't like a CZ. It even says CZ in there. That's a 925. So it's not just gloss. And I didn't shine it up. Could have. I mean, that. I do clean stones, like my own stones in a ring or something. I will toothbrush the shit out of that thing. Okay, and then this, and we're getting, we're gonna go because I don't want to do too many because I won't keep be able to keep track. There was one more, but I don't think I can sell it. I just don't think I can do it. Oh no! Well, shit. Okay, this is, okay, there we go. And it's this. This isn't the one I don't think I can sell, although I love this and would like to keep it as well, but you know, what's gonna happen? Let me see if I can get it right. I think that's right. It's just fantastic. So my precious stones, the medallion, I did that. And I have this down hooker, put her together. -er. Um, and that's the length and everything. I just, you know me, I love stones. Uh, did I say 25? Because that's what it is. And it's a gorgeous hunk of burning love. A little tassel. And just, mm. <sighs> so I'm going to, this is the one I can't sell. Oh, Chochi, careful. You know you're not cat-like. He falls off of everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's the theme of Joji. I can't do it. I, I I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can sell it. Hold on. It's also small, so it wouldn't fit everybody's wrist. I mean, it's small. I don't know if I measured it before. I showed it to you in a video before. And if I did sell it, I would have to have 45 plus shipping. There's just no way I could do less. Because all this... All the stones are there, stones are there. 
And it's, it's just fucking fantastic. It's not signed. Who gives a shit? But yeah, that's tight. Not tight, but that's, that's a seven. I'll measure it. I mean, I can't. Uh, I'm going to get some kind of examples of this kind of thing throughout my collecting years. But almost always there are stones missing. I'll show you the condition on the back. Um, if you're going to wear it backside out, then that might bother you. If you're not, you're going to know um, this is from the 1950s. And so, hello. 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 Okay, where's my ruler? That's what I'm looking for. And then we'll go. I'm sitting like uncomfortably. And yeah. All the leaves are brown and the sky is gray. I've been at work No, I'm just fucking around. I'm just being a dick. Okay, so I still think it's a seven. I'm not sure. I am a six and a half to a seven, so I have a small wrist. But just because this ends, you go by where this ends, right? Isn't that right? I'm a bloody well, right? I'm going to bloody right to say he. Let me always do that. Yeah. Well, I would call that at a seven. Six and three quarters, seven. I don't know. Anyways, I was just curious. Not so much with this bracelet, but I have that sometimes. I know you don't count it with that open because that's not going to be open and that's not part of the size. I put it right back on my wrist. <laughs> it's just everything, uh, right? Come on. All right. Okay, well, that's it for today. I don't know if I'll do a bedroom video, which is, I come in here so you can see the shit that I'm going to list and are going to sell, or I'm selling. But I'm more, as you know, I just dropped a little bracelet. Not that bracelet. Hey, hell no. And then if anybody wants this one for 15, if you have two, if you know any kids. <laughs> This is all sterling. The balls are sterling. The chain is sterling. It's on the longer side. Not super long, but it's not, you know, choker by any means. 15 for that. I just dropped a bracelet. I'm going to show you these three little funky bracelets, but if I can't show you three, then fake it. Oh, fake it. Now the leaves are brown. There she is. On a winter's day. 20 for the third. For the third? For all three. They're all sterling. I'd like to keep them together. Except for this one is going to be a little bigger. Do you need me to measure? Do I have to do my job? Come on, you guys. <laughs> what kind of thing is that? I don't know what thing is. This is long, duck dog. Well, not that long. Okay, the little mini one is seven and a half. So these must be, sorry, these must be seven. Tis my guess, by the way, they were hanging when they were together. Together forever. But most people, like I can wear seven or seven and a half. Most people can if they're in that category. Well, huh. Maybe that one. I know this is just a little over a seven, like a seven and a quarter. The other two. Like seven, seven and a quarter. This is the culprit of length. All right, hey, we done. No, I, I think I was just saying that when I do them in the room, like I did a room video yesterday that I, will be uploaded in a little while and it helped me tremendously. It was very helpful. I found a 10 karat gold ring. Who knew? I sure didn't. Didn't know I had a 10 karat gold ring in there. So that kind of thing. Then I found a big massive sterling silver bracelet, which I was going to show you guys today. I don't know where I put it. It's in the video that you'll see today, but I was going to show you in the light. 
I was going to sell all my sterling stuff, but it's going to be 50 because they, they sell for like 90 on eBay. And it's too big for me. It's a size 8. But you'll see it in the video. That it's in my bedroom video. It's me sorting through. This is all my, you know, just sorting through my tubs. So you never know what I'm going to find. I never know what I'm going to find. And it's helping me, you know, thin the herd a little bit. And yeah, I left this in the background just because, you know, some of my Lightbox videos. <laughs> it's just, I have to watch it back to the front of me and say, oh, I want this or that. And so I have to look. And there's just a white spot. There's just like 10 minutes. There's just a white spot. So I thought, well, at least let you look at things. I love this. I need to wear it, I think. I think it's fantastic. Don't you think it's fantastic? Everything for sale, but I just think I love this. And whoever asked me about this necklace, I will part with it just because I was going to keep it for myself. And you should see myself jewelry. I fucking love it. Was it you, Kelly? No. Nancy? <laughs> One of you guys let, said let me know if you're going to part with it. And email me. I'll part with it. Fuck. Oh, God. You know the drill. Look at it. It is absolutely just fan f fantastic, in my opinion. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm not talking myself out of it. Shit. Uh, yeah, I'm over. I'm over. I'm over my head. Over my head. And it doesn't feel nice. Um, yeah, I'm looking for the Chico's necklace, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> okay. Alright, I'm gonna go. Stalling again. Stalling. Wasn't that her name? Stalling. Something like that. Chianti. Chianti. No, okay, so I don't have cable anymore my only thing i'm missing out of all the shows because most of it's on hulu is rupaul's drag race and i'm not happy about it but i just am in i just pretend it's not on <laughs> i do i just don't think about it on friday night i'm like oh yeah no that wasn't even on so i got everything else i watch i'm gonna put a lot together of steampunk old vintage steampunkers like those and to who Hunty. All right. Going, going, gone. Email me as opposed to, I mean, you can leave a comment, but then email me because otherwise, you snoozies, you snoozies. This fucking thing. Give me a, I mean, it probably said that the, I just, mm, the one I bought before was just, I mean, I didn't think to like look at the fine print to see that it said tiny miniature sunshine cloth and the funny thing is is the one that i have that's at least twice as big as this um i can't find it haven't been able to find it for almost a year all right i'm going you have fun today it's monday nope it's not monday she tuesday i tried to upload this right now today so i have two videos today oh my god you guys are going to get so sick of me i love you guys i really do appreciate you I mean, for real, for real.